Good morning, everyone. It is Sign Carvers of the Day, or SCOTD for short. In case you guys don't know what SCOTD is, Sign Carvers of the Day. So this is where we show uh, 20 projects of signs that you guys have made. And we love showing off your guys' work, and you guys seem to get a kick out of it. It certainly inspires me to try different things. There's some really, really cool ones here. So we're doing a brand new process. Ryan has uh, kind of worked with a little editing program. So as I call these out, the actual picture will come right over my face, which is another benefit that uh, you don't have to look at this for a whole period, long period of time. So... Um, here we go. All right, Len Wells from Canada. He's been carving uh, characters for years. This is just his second sign mixing router, hand, router work and hand carving. I love the way it looks. I love the hummingbirds and the, um, the relief carving. Great job, Len. I absolutely love it. Great job. All right, and now we have Ann Vogren. And this is a 12 by 30 cedar board, and um, it just looks amazing. And you just did a great job. I love the um, the broken edge look at the end. Got a little torch going on there. Uh, amazing sign, and absolutely love it. Great job. Next we have Richie Barclay, and Richie's from New Zealand. This is New Zealand pine, and this is. One of those that is kind of the three-dimensional, the names over the first names over the top of the last name. Great looking border, nice. Uh, I love the the purple and the um, the wood color letters. Beautiful job, Richie. I love it. Next, very first carving for Kim Ocampo, and this is a charcuterie board, and it is uh, again first carving, 16 by 22 walnut. And uh, this was made for her parents. Again, her first carving. Great job. I love it. Um, I just think it's terrific. And that has that cannot be easy to carve. That looks like a very hard board. So you did a great job, Kim. Uh, Herbert Johansson. This is his first sign, and he made it for his boss, who is obviously a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Um, looks really good, Herbert, for your first First carved sign, um, really good. And these rounds that this is made out of, this looks like one of the rounds from Home Depot or Lowe's. And those aren't easy. Those are That's some pretty tough material. So you did a great job, especially for your first one. Great job, Herbert. All right, Seth Thompson. And this is his first sign. Made it for his parents, put his daughter's handprints on the sign. Love it. Uh, handprints are in pink and purple it looks like um, for a first sign and that looks like a piece of uh, burl of some kind I don't know what kind of wood it is but uh, that doesn't look easy to carve there's a lot of knots and burls in there great job Seth uh, beautiful beautiful board next up Jim Rogers he's our buddy from Las Vegas and this is his business sign woodchuck signs so Jim um, this is uh, Jim's first, or not his first sign, but it's um, he's still early on in his sign carving, and uh, you did a great job, Jim. I love it. Great work. Jeremy Hawthorne, uh, and he does some really amazing stuff. The way he mixes colors and designs, it's so unconventional. Um, I love what you did, Jeremy. Uh, it, it really looks, uh, the colors and the design, super unique. Great job, Jeremy. Love it. Stephen Pankey, and uh, this is obviously uh, for the Auburn Tigers. Love it. Great uh, colors, nice painting, good design. Um, really looks nice. Great job. Good job, Stephen. And now we have Scott Christian, and this is 12 by 17, 3 inches thick. It looks like it's a piece of mesquite, and this is uh, a piece of material that uh, Scott's customer brought to him so he could carve it. Anyway, it's 12 by 17 by 3 inches thick. Nice job, Scott. Next we have Bert Graham, and uh, this one is cool. 
Everyone brings joy to this home, some when they enter, others when they leave. I love it. Great job. That's a great a great idea for a stock sign. This is his first sign of 2022. Great work. Dave Meyer, uh, or excuse me, Dave Mayer. This is his very first sign, and uh, I love it. Man, that's a lot of background. Did a really nice border on there. For your first sign, Dave, Congratulations, man. That thing looks cool. I bet you could sell a bunch of those. Great job. John Hauser uh, made some maple coasters and he carved a cutting board for his wife's birthday. Nice work, John. I don't know. It says the coasters are maple, and I think the cutting board's maple as well. Uh, a matching set. Um, great job on this, John. I'm sure your wife loved it. All right, this is one of my favorites. Tim Gwynn, one of his very first signs. Holy moly, wow, what a cool-looking sign. The trout, the mountain scene, um, I, I love everything about it. Great job, Tim. You obviously got a knack for this. Um, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more spectacular signs from you. Uh, just terrific job. I absolutely love it. Gene Patek. Um, added fairy lights and epoxy to this sign, which is gives a really neat look. That's kind of like what I did with that um, fishing sign that I did, the one I carved at the lake. But it looks really good, Gene. I think uh, that really adds something to it. Nice job on this. Beautiful job. And he put epoxy on it as well. This one is super cool. Packers and Bears fans in the same household, evidently. Uh, it looks terrific. It's a log sign. That's one of those ones I've always thought about doing, but out here we don't have very many logs laying around. Anyway, very cool sign, John. I'm sure uh, uh, everybody absolutely is thrilled with it. Great job. So here's one from Luke Gearink. This is eight foot long and it's absolutely spectacular. He, um, his brother did the painting for him, and this is just super, super cool. Luke does some absolutely gorgeous signs. Luke, you knocked it out of the park, buddy. Looks amazing. Chris Wright, Mama's Badas. Well, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but anyway, great job. I think that I really love the uh, unique look of the names inside the hearts with the white and the red i think it's a great idea terrific design chris great job buddy here's a cool one from lou proton tennis and obviously it's a local girls basketball team uh the raiders love the colors uh, great job lou this is this is a niche that i've talked about many times is um i don't know if this is grade school or high school or maybe even college but uh, these kinds of sports team signs for locals, you can work with boosters and stuff. I think there's a huge untapped market for this niche, but great job, Lou. I love it. This one is from Adam Gill, 22 by 34. Check out all the details in this thing. It is amazing. This is a memorial sign for his dad. He's been selling lots of signs. He's from Yorkshire, England. Adam, absolutely stunning. I'm not surprised this is uh, leading to a lot of sales for you. Terrific job, buddy. I absolutely love it. Uh, I think you, this will bring you tons of business if it hasn't already. So there you go, guys. That is it. That's 20 sign carvers of the day, SCOTDs. Remember, this is from January 2nd, 2022 through January 21st of 2022. And um, be sure and keep track when you send me pictures, be sure and keep track of the dates that you send them to me. And if you did send me a picture between these dates, it should be in this group. If it's not, then be sure and let me know. Um, maybe it got lost in the shuffle. We get a lot of pictures in. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. We so appreciate you watching. If you have any questions at all, please email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com or Ryan with DaveSigns at gmail.com. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.